morning. Today is a special day. A hundred days ago, I was given instruction by God to walk for a hundred days, a specific walk. It's about three miles. And the instruction was to do it no matter the weather, no matter how I felt, no matter what the circumstances were for the day, to just get it done. And today is walk number 100. So before I head out, I am going to read what I wrote on that first day, 100 days ago. It says, day one, while walking today, I was led to walk 100 straight days, regardless of circumstances or elements. Walk the same distance each day. 100 days from now will be January 8th. When I wrote that that day, it kind of seemed like an unrealistic thing to do. Not that the walk itself is a crazy distance or anything, but how I was feeling physically and mentally, um, honestly, I didn't see how I would get it done every day. But today's day 100. So, we're about to head out. It's kind of hard to believe that this is the hundredth time I've done this every single day. No matter the circumstances. It's pretty chilly this morning too. But not the coldest day I had to come out here. A lot of people probably see me out every day walking and thought it was just discipline. And it is. Um, I have become disciplined in that way. Honestly, I don't, I don't think I'm going to stop after that. I think actually I'm going to do it for another hundred days and start running. I am illegally crossing the street right now, so don't do that. But there was a little more to it than just being disciplined. It was also about being obedient. And the truth of the matter is I actually don't know why he told me to do this for 100 days. Maybe that revelation will come later, but sometimes obedience does not require understanding, just cooperation. So, Every day for 100 days, I've been out here. There were days where I felt like instead of being out here, I should be laying in a hospital bed, but I knew that if you told me to do it, I had enough to do it. So I just got up and started walking. There were days where it was almost in the single digits. It was so cold, but here I was. There was actually a day where I had to go out of town. To North Carolina for the day. And I planned the trip so that I could get back before midnight so that I could come out and do the walk. There were days where my schedule did not allow for me to walk during the day, so I had to wake up at 
5 o'clock in the morning on most Wednesdays to come out and get it done. There was a day where I walked all the way down three miles, uh, a mile and a half in one direction. And I was actually almost back, so I was about two and a half miles into it. And I realized that I had not taken the picture to document the walk for the day. And the moment I realized it, I stopped and turned around in the middle of the street or the sidewalk and walked a mile and a half back in the other direction to take the picture. There was a bunch of days where I walked in the darkness. There were days where, um, if I'm just being honest, there were days where I walked and cried. There were days where I sat contemplating for hours whether I was going to come out or not. But regardless, at some point I got up and did it. And, um, yeah, it's kind of, there's nobody out here right now. It's kind of weird that this is the hundredth time that I've done it. So. There's also a lot of days where while I walked, I was trying to figure out what God was trying to accomplish in a hundred days of me doing this. Was it simply to teach me the power of setting long-term goals? Was it to teach me to do the work no matter the circumstances? Was it simply to see if I was going to be obedient to him and trust that I had what it took to get it done every day? Still don't know the answer to that question, but still walking. Let me be clear. This is the hundredth straight time that I've done it. A hundred consecutive days in a row that I've done this. Even on Christmas, I was out here. <laughs> I hung out with my family during the day and I got up and told them I had to leave because I had to go get my walk in. And they were like, you're gonna go walk in the dark on Christmas? And I was like, yep. I think one of the biggest things to take away from this is when God tells you to do something, regardless of the situation, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of how you feel, regardless of what you have, regardless of what you see, if he told you to do it, you have enough to get it done. And just remind yourself that in those tough situations that even though there doesn't look like a way to get it done, there must be because he told you to. And scripture clearly tells us that he'll never put more on us than we can bear. And that doesn't mean that the load won't be heavy, but it does mean that regardless of how heavy it is, you're strong enough to carry it. So this is the other dope thing about this 100 days. None of this was here. I don't know if you can see way down there, but like none of this was here when I started walking. So I've been like watching this construction project for the last 100 days every day.
And I think in a lot of ways, he's had me under construction while I was walking. Some of the lessons I've learned on some of these days will be things that I carry with me for the rest of my life. By doing something as simple as walking. And to make it crazier, the name of the construction company that's doing this project, as you can see, is Davis. Which is my last name, so. <laughs> I got the moon on one side. I got the sun coming up on the other side. So as you can see behind me, there was just something in the sidewalk that I had to go around. One day there was actually the like the whole sidewalk was closed off. So I had to find another way to get down here, but I think that's another one of those valuable lessons that sometimes it's not gonna be easy to do what God told you to do. Sometimes you gotta find new routes and take detours and go through some ups and some downs. But the ultimate goal is still to get to where he told you to get to and accomplish the mission. So if you have to go around and you have to find a new route and maybe it takes you a little bit longer to get there than it should, the important thing is to get there. There's the sun. That's dope. So way down there is where we're going. 15 feet away from the point where I take the picture every day and I turn around. See, so you hit the mat. Turn around. Thank you, God. Honestly, when I foresaw that moment over all those days, I thought, like, as I got close to that part, that I would get a little more, like, emotional just thinking about how I felt at the beginning of this, but seeing that I actually accomplished it. But... Honestly, I don't feel too much celebration. I just want to know what's next. What's the next assignment? So I can get it done. Maybe ultimately that's what it was about. He just wanted to see if he gave me an assignment. Would I do it? Would I let anything stray me away from the path? Deviate from the plan? Not do what I was supposed to do? Or would I fulfill it? So perfectly I passed. And he can hand me down the next assignment. Look at the sunrise. The last hundred days I uh Got a podcast going. 
Shout out Christ Culture and the team. I relaunched my production brand, Must See Entertainment. And I've already been approached and got several opportunities for that. And to work on some projects with some different organizations. And uh, I've gotten closer with my family. I've gotten closer with God. And I'm excited to see what's next. Got a feeling it's big. Just to add one more little wrinkle to this story. January 8th, 2022 was the first day that I went to the hospital last year because I wasn't feeling well. And a year later, here I am completing this. Final steps.